Yo, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition video. Today guys, we're going to be showing you the top 5 best Minecraft maps for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 2021. So if you're ready to see what Minecraft's best maps have to offer for you, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and the download links to these amazing maps will be in the description below, so you can have a ton of fun playing them. Of course, this is our own personal opinion. But boy, are they pretty darn good. So with that being said, guys, let's get down to the countdown. And at number five, guys, starting off the countdown strong, we actually have a creation map. Now, this creation map is literally a working Rubik's Cube. Now, if you don't know what a Rubik's Cube is, it's basically a thing where you try and match all the colors on one side of the cube and they're all kind of jumbled up and you have to, you know, turn the, the cube and rotate it and move it up and down and left and right. And you're probably wondering, all right, cool, but how could you possibly do this in Minecraft? Well, it's actually really cool because they've done it, designed it so that if you place a block in the middle of the cube using the specified markers, you can actually rotate the cube. So as you can see, guys, we're placing the, and now you get a clockwise, anti-clockwise one, you can use which one you want. And it actually rotates the blocks when you place it in the middle of each face. So the objectives obviously is to try and make one side, you know, completely red, the other side completely blue, the other side completely yellow. I'm sure we all have heard of a Rubik's Cube. Whether you can do it or not, <laughs> it's a different question. Now guys, as you can clearly see, we are completely noob at this. We have no idea what we're doing. We get the idea, it's just quite hard to do. So we eventually got to this point, guys, and we were quite proud of ourselves, so we decided, you know what, let's call it a day. Uh, we were quite happy with this as our results, but obviously, guys, we want to try and make the whole thing full of color, and it's going to require some patience and some knowledge on how to do this, and, and, and big brain. So, yeah, this is more for those of you who have patience and time to kill, but yeah, it's a pretty good thing, and you can also change the face of the Rubik's Cube so you can make it look different, you know, different looking styles of the Rubik's Cube, and then you can also, you know, Completed if you wish, but uh, there you go guys. That's the first map. It's a creation map It's really cool. It's a Rubik's cube for those of you who know guys who enjoy Rubik's cubes in real life You know, I recommend this map for them go f tell them to go play it because it's really cool Anyway, that's number five. Let's move on. All right guys at number four We got a really trippy map called glitchfall now a little warning for those of you sensitive to moving lights and flashing We do not recommend this map. You're gonna see why but if you're the type of person who gets um, is very sensitive to moving colors and stuff, stuff like you're seeing on the screen right now, probably skip this one and don't watch further. But if you're not affected by this, it's actually a pretty cool map. It is a dropper map. It's called Glitchfall, and basically the aim of the game is to you know just drop to the floor, get to the target without getting hit by a pillar or a, you know a blockade or something. So we're gonna try quickly to show you guys what it's all about. So we're gonna go to level one. And as you can see, yeah, you just have to try and fall and avoid all the obstacles in your way and get to the bottom of the map into the circle, the little marker place. And once you do that, it will say congratulations and you can move on to the next level and then try it again. And as you guys can see, guys, the moving lights and the colors, it's very trippy. So you know, it could make you sick if you're sensitive to this type of stuff. But I'll be honest, you do get used to it. It's not that bad, you know, it's, it's not like a death sentence it is very unique so if you guys can we really do recommend to pull it uh, try and play it because it is a blast guys and it's a once in a lifetime experience because this map is just so different to the other droppers but like i say guys if you know you're gonna struggle and you're very queasy and stuff then probably skip this one but overall still a very solid map very fun and we did complete the map and so it is doable Anyways, that is Glitchful. Let's move on to the next on our list. Oh yeah, guys, now this one, next one on our list is probably a little bit more calm on the, the tummy and your senses. You know, it's not going to make you feel like bleh, but uh, it is fun in its own way. And that is Cookie Clicker. This is actually based on a popular game on Android and iOS where you basically click on cookies. If you know the game, you'll know what I'm talking about. I've personally never played it, but the map is still quite fun and it would actually get me into the game. So there you guys can see there, there's a the main game, there's upgrades, golden cookies, how to play, blah, 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 blah. So right click an item and you can just see there what it does. So this is cookie clicker. You can read the um, how to play over there if you wish to play it. But basically what you find yourself doing most of the time is just clicking the cookie. So you just tap the cookie a lot, you know, you're collecting your cookies. You know, it's a clicker game. So you can expect what you're gonna do. You can upgrade your cookies. You know, you can get a grandma. 
to help you bake more cookies if you wish. You know, it'll help production with your cookies. You can get farming items, lots of different upgrades and stuff to build your cookie empire as you try and make as many cookies as you possibly can. So yeah, it's a fun little, I would call it an indie game. It's a clicking game. You know, it's kind of past the time type of game. You know, it's nothing too crazy. No, it's not an in-depth game, you know, with tons of story. It's a mindless game, you know. It's just one of those things that's addictive to play and you don't know why. And look at us, we're clicking cookies, seeing how much we can make and we don't know why. And of course, guys, if you've actually played the mobile game, you'll be able to respect this game more because you know actually what's going on. Whereas we kind of clueless, we're just kind of clicking on the cookie because why not? Anyways, that's that's the number third map on the list. A little calmer, you know, on the senses because the next two maps we're about to go to, guys, are going to be much more, let's just say, hard race and hard pounding. So probably, you know, if you're not up to the challenge, you know, maybe this is the perfect map for you because the next one's going to get a little bit spooky. So... Let's move on to the second last map of the list. All right, guys, so number two last one on the list, guys, is a horror map. And this one is called The Sound of Fear, guys, by Bridgeworks Productions. And boy, oh boy, is this a really cool map, guys. Now, we know we talked earlier about ones that'll make you feel easy, you know, there's what calm ones, you know, there's just cool creation ones. These ones, though, these ones are gonna make you, you get you scared, guys, because damn, did they do a good job. So this one is a horror game. Something similar would probably be best described as, it's a mixture of like a Five Nights at Freddy's type of game, and you know those games like Granny, that Granny game, you know you know what I'm talking about, those spooky games you find on iOS and stuff, and on PC. So yeah, as you can see, it gives you a torch, and it's really cool because it only like makes a certain area of the uh, map bright, which is amazing, so you can walk around, you know, hide in areas you also have a battery percentage that you have to try and manage on your torch because if it goes dark you know you won't be in trouble you can hide in places like cupboards and stuff to keep away from the scary monster that is walking and lurking around the passageway so yeah you got to try and you know get to the bottom of the map and get to a certain place to find a key you know it's the traditional type of horror game storyline and you have to try and get there without being caught by the monster because if you're caught by the monster you die and of course, you have to try and manage your battery percentage too, or you'll get killed by the monster if it sees you. So that's why you have to try and hide in areas to not be seen. And if you die, it brings up this cool area where it says you died. And of course, that is the monster that killed you. Very scary. But what makes this map even cooler is all the sounds. It has tons of sounds, guys. Eerie sounds, spooky sounds, sounds that are just going to get your hair standing up, you know, on your arms and stuff. It is really spooky. And boy, oh boy, is it cool. Like I said, similar experience to Granny's and like a Five Nights at Freddy's mixture, but it's a, it's a traditional horror game in Minecraft and it's a lot of fun. And if you're brave enough to try it, guys, we really recommend it. So yeah, it is spooky, it's fun, and we you gotta play it. And finally, guys, on the list at the first and top slot is the Plasmophobia map in Minecraft. Now guys, this is another horror game, but this one is based off a game that is quite popular in the horror field at the moment, and that's Phasmophobia. Boy, is, is this game is amazing, amazing, guys. This is Phasmophobia in Minecraft. Now, it's what well, the cool thing is, it does give you a little tutorial in the beginning of the game, so you can know exactly what you're doing, you know. It tells you, it shows you all the items and stuff, which is quite nice. It's by, made by Jonas Oleg. So initially, guys, once you get into the game, it's just going to give you a little tutorial, you know. It'll tell you what to do. It's going to show you, you know, like basic text and stuff. It'll show you the meters, like here is we got the... See here guys, you got the EMF reader, which will read for EMF. As you move on through the tutorial, it'll show you other items as well, like the freezing temperatures where your breath starts to freeze. There'll be ghost writing, so you can actually throw a book on the floor, and if a ghost is near, it can actually write on the book, which is quite cool. So as you guys can see, there we go. There's also ghost fingerprints, so if you just wait a bit, uh, you will see that there's fingerprints on the um, walls and stuff, so there's the ghost fingerprints. That's quite cool. You can get a spirit box, which you can use to ask the ghost questions, and it will respond, and you know, just basically all the normal ghost hunting um, objects and items that are used in Phasmophobia. And of course guys, once you get through the tutorial, it'll take you to the lobby area, which is basically built to look the same as the one in the actual game. It even has the cool little um, touchscreen uh, panel area um, TV board, which cool thing about this map is you can actually click it in Minecraft and it'll actually load up the game. And then it loads up, you know, just your loading time so you can just wait a bit. It'll give you some advice. And basically you will load into the back of the truck just like the game and it'll give you the objectives of what you need to do to win the game. It'll show your sanity, your team sanity, the map. There is the video camera which actually works as well 
and you know it'll tell you which ghost is what blah 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 so you can get all your items your flashlight your book your emf reader your video camera your ghost hunting guide um you know your spirit box all the stuff that you can go use it go into the house and try and locate the ghost and try and figure out which ghost it is you know you can ask questions and stuff you know you can use your flashlight which does light up the whole area so it's not as cool as the previous match flashlight you know it's a little bit brighter but it's still spooky guys it's got the sounds and stuff and as you can see uh, we're trying to actually find a ghost we've played phasmophobia quite a lot of times before so this one really hits home because we actually know what we're doing with this one and eventually guys um we do actually find a ghost eventually so all right so here guys we see some ghost fingerprints and it starts to get us a little spooked we're a little bit scared um, all of a sudden, the lights start to flash, and next minute we know, guys, we start to see something spooky like a ghost. There you go, guys. Boo! Oh, my word. And then we do end up dying, unfortunately. We, we're not strong enough to, to, to survive the ghost hauntings. But, yeah, guys, um, if you know how to play Phasmophobia, this game will easily be recognizable. It's got all the same things. And then in the end, you try and figure out which ghost it is and then pick it out and then leave the map and see if you win or not, see if you got the ghost right or not. So yeah, very fun, um, very similar to Phasmophobia. They did a great job making this map and I really recommend you playing it because it is just so amazing and it's spooky. The last two maps are just absolutely amazing guys and they have to be played. But anyways guys, that's gonna wrap up the video. That is the top five maps currently in Minecraft Bedrock Edition in 2021 for the latest update in our opinion. Comment down below, do you guys agree? Which of these maps do you enjoy? Which of these maps don't you enjoy? Do you see yourself playing them or not? And if you have any other cool maps, comment down below for everyone to check them out. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you all next time. Enjoy playing these maps. They're really awesome. And with that, see you all next time. Goodbye, everybody.